Welcome back guys, we're going to be doing another review today, and today we are going to be talking about Prisoner's Daughter, you guys can watch this on Hulu right now, starring Kate Beckinsale and Brian Cox. Now again, this movie is a very dramatic crime thriller type of film. Uh, if you guys like movies like this, very dramatic, very um, intense, uh, kind of family dynamics I guess you would say, then you may enjoy this film. Um, the entirety of the film is based around Kate Beckinsale's character, who she plays as Maxine, who is raising her son Ezra, who has um, medical issues along with having um, different types of stress, anxiety, and um, panic episodes as well. And then her father, who has been in prison for several years due to him being an enforcer for different people, him being a former boxer. He was never around for her and he's been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Then he pretty much begs her to come home. And when this happens, she kind of is that reluctant at first and then she thinks, okay, I need the money because I just got fired from my job and I need help due to, you know, my son and his medicine and then trying to find a job. And it really takes a lot out of it. And then it's kind of interesting because again, um, you know, Brian Cox plays as Max and, you know, I guess, you know, they named his daughter Maxine after him, which was really interesting. And the entirety of the film, you see a lot of backlash between Maxine and Max due to a lot of hatred because of him being away, him, you know, being a enforcer for different people and being a lot of people up and then also him being in prison off and on during the entirety of his life and then also her having a very drunk mother and her having to clean stuff up, her also having to raise her son alone while her ex is a drug overdose wannabe rocker. And her son is very the normal kid, you know, wants to try to be around his dad and does not know how his dad is until he actually sees at one part of the movie that his dad is a drunken mess and he embarrasses him. And that's when his grandfather steps in multiple times in this film to when he finally does figure out it's his grandfather and he, you know, shows him how to fight, gets him around people that he knows how to defend himself from bullies and then helps his daughter out to get a job and then also helps out around the house to be able to improve the household, to be able to build her a guest room so she can rent it out and while he still has time left. And there's a very, I, I, I will say this, um, Kate Beckinsale not doing a whole lot of, I would say this amount of dramatic roles. She did a very damn good job. Um, she did a hell of a job in this role. She really did. Um, there's been a lot of dramatic roles I've seen her in, but I think she really outdid herself in this film due to showing the emotion, the trauma, the the, the hate, the backlash, the the uh, emo just emotional roller coaster of what this character has endured and what still goes through and working two jobs to support her son and trying to help her son and then trying to uh, endure what has gone on and what was crazy was is that max you know he he knows all the things he did is wrong and then one of the things that really was a very emotional part at, especially for the ending of the movie so if you guys have not seen the movie definitely check it out before i talk about this where he has to go rescue his grandson from his uh father and his father's trying to take him and then he beats the crap out of his uh so-called son-in-law but he gives him the bat and basically allows him to beat the crap out of him so he can go to jail for the rest of the remainder of his life. And it really worked out because the guy got what he deserved anyway uh, for, you know, the, the father. And he gave his daughter and his grandson a chance. So I'll definitely say, if you guys have never seen this film, definitely check this film out. It's very dramatic. It's very, it's got some heartfelt moments. It's very intense. And if you guys need a good movie to watch, then I definitely recommend it. Uh, it is on Hulu right now if you guys want to check it out. So what do you guys think about Prisoner's Daughter? If you guys have ever seen it, if you guys have ever heard of it. It came out in 2002, 20, 2022, I'm sorry guys. And just definitely check it out if you guys have not checked it out already. Uh, it's a very good film. I'd recommend it for a lot of people that have never seen um, this film, if, especially if you like Kate Beckinsale like I do, that's really what drew me in because I really like her. And uh, it really gave me something to watch and something to review for you guys. So definitely check it out and let me know what you guys think. And I hope you guys enjoyed.